so like my whole I, last race, I was like very ill prepared nutritionally. Nutritionally, like didn't carb load the day before, didn't have like enough carbs at all because I was cramming up the whole time. Electrolytes as well. I actually have these <coughs> element sodium things I should be drinking today. Uh, but we have this pizza last night. First, we had that all you can eat sushi, which I would say probably was like a 5.4 out of 10. For all you can eat sushi, maybe it was decent, but uh, I mean, I, I ate a, a decent amount. I, I was like, I need to have 20 pieces because I need to have like over 200 grams of carbs, right? Uh, and then when we got back, I was I was so hella full. We got this pizza that you said was an 8.7, which is out of this fucking world. I think, <laughs> mine doesn't even look super good today. I think this is like a 6.1. I mean, I'm usually a pro uh, second day pizza kind of guy. This doesn't look very appetizing. It's a 6 1. I know it's 6 1 when I see a 6 1. It's a 6 1. And this guy, I don't know the fuck who this guy is, but this is weird. Anyway, I'm carved up. I'm feeling good. I slept. I slept bad. So, um, on my whoop, I've woken up, I'm like a generally like a 100 plus HRV guy, uh, wake up in the green consistently, um, resting heart rate's always in like between the 45 and 48 beat range. Um, I got sick as fuck like 10 days ago. Like fevers every single night. Um, I kind of try to put it in perspective. So I, starting last Saturday, started having a fever. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I was sick as fuck. Uh, couldn't sleep, I was sweating, had to change my, Lexi had to change my sheets like every single day and wash them. Um, then I started feeling, and, and at that point I was out on the high rocks. So it was like 0% chance. Actually it was a 10% chance I said that I was gonna do the high rocks. So I was like 90% not doing it. Um, just cause I couldn't even, I, slept, I was sleeping like two hours a night. Uh, then around Thursday and Friday, I started feeling better because um, I got my antibiotics in. My throat was so swollen that it, uh, this tonsil was like touching the other side. Like I could hardly breathe. I couldn't, I could, anytime I swallowed spit, it was like I was swallowing knives. Uh, but uh, like I have pictures from the back of my throat, it was fucking disgusting. Um, it looked like this thing from Stranger Things in my fucking mouth. But um, anyway, as I started to like, get closer and closer to this event, I was like, fuck man, I gotta do it. We did like a simulation of the High Rocks last Saturday, and I don't know, I felt decent doing it. On top of the sickness, last two Sundays ago, I got an MRI on my groin area. Um, and the MRI revealed that I have an inguinal hernia on my left side. Two years ago, I had an inguinal hernia on my right side. I had surgery to repair that. Um, now I have an inguinal hernia on my left side that's protruding bigger than the one on my right side, so I technically have one on both sides. Also, this all stems from an injury that would happen on September 16th or 17th, um, playing football. Um, that same injury, I tore my groin the hernia revealed that, that I have a tear in my groin right now. Um, it also revealed that I have a tear in my abdomen and I have a tear in my oblique. Sitting down, I'm in not in a lot of pain. When I do lunges, when I do burpees, when I do any sort of lateral movement, I'm in like a seven out of 10 pain. And so when the hernia or when the MRI results came back, I was like, all right, do I want to be doing this? I talked to my trainer, I talked to my girlfriend, I talked to my mom, I talked to my friends, I talked to everybody and they're like, just like, don't. You don't need to do it. What do you really have to gain from doing this? And uh, I agreed. I was like, all right, I'm done. I'm not doing it. Um, and as each day got closer to the event, I started like having like, I don't say like anxiety, but like I started feeling more and more like, that's just not me, man. Like I committed to doing something. So I've got the tear, I've got the hernia, I've got the abdomen tear, I've got the oblique tear. But I think that for like an hour and a half, Hopefully sub hour 25, I can just grit it out. And then tonight, 
relax. I'll be good. We're getting ready to head over to the LA Convention Center to get our ass up and moving. Taylor's gonna start at the High Rocks first. You're gonna start in a heat. The heat's actually pretty dope. You get in this tunnel and they have like TV screen. It's like coming out of a football tunnel almost, like for us old people. The screens are playing, they have speakers in there trying to hype you up, they have a countdown going. It's pretty sick. I'm running, I was supposed to run in Chicago. Okay. And then I got injured. I hadn't got my injury. What happened? I was playing flag football and like I landed on the ground and my knees landed on the ground like this and somebody landed on my back and my legs split, like a wishbone me. And so I tore my groin from here. <laughs> I remember you were telling me about I tore my yeah. abdomen and I tore my oblique. So I just feel like I couldn't skip two races, you know? So I was like, I'm gonna do LA still. Fuck yeah, and you're just sticking with the pro division too. Yeah, I'm not gonna. Let's just run and run it. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I don't know, it's still nerve wracking, bro, to be in there and it's counting down. Keep rolling, kid. Keep a pace. 150 right now. Yeah. Hey, the last 250 meters, catch your breath. You need to catch your breath. That's just flying. This is your last one? more let's go two sets of 20 let's go the laps before the lunges I was cramping right here I was cramping that carpet was this thing so it's Time, boys. How do you want to finish this race today? How do you want to run across that finish line? You don't impress me, so don't test me. Nah, so don't test me. Nah, don't test me. Yo, you don't impress me, so don't test me. Nah, so don't test me. Nah, don't test me. Uh, yo. They wouldn't let me. Nah. Man's gal wanna come undress me. Swing with a right, but I might go lefty. Left. I made plus with it, so don't test me. Uh. They wouldn't let me. Let oh, Man's gal wanna come undress me. Swing with a right, but I might go lefty. I made plus with it, so don't test me. Nah. You don't impress me. So don't test me. Nah. So don't test me. Nah. Don't test me. Nah. You don't impress me. So don't test me. Nah. So don't test me. Nah. Don't test me. time was an hour 27 minutes which is two minutes slower than my last time but uh considering not running for the last like two months three months uh not really being able to train for the higher rocks and then all the other things the injuries and getting sick <clears throat> i'm super happy with it i'm the most happy with it because uh there were a couple modalities that i wanted to crush and that was like the sled push and the sled pull and i think i did really good at those because those fucked me up the last time um, I was just moving slower on the runs this time, which I knew I would be. Um, the experience is awesome. I'm a big High Rocks guy. I think they do a great job with the, the um, event. And I'll for sure be doing the next. I think we're, we're aiming for Anaheim. Depends on if I have to get surgery or not. Um, but yeah, my body's feeling pretty turfed right now. I'm going to try to eat everything in sight. Call it a day. <laughs>